Yo, what is up everybody, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to play LEGO Dimensions on your PC. So yeah, that's it, let's get right into the tutorial. On this website that's going to be linked down in the description, you're going to want to download VMware Player, the Debian 11 ISO and Virtual Hair USB Client. On the VMware page, you're gonna wanna click download for free. And go to downloads and download it for your respective operating system. And on the virtual here page, also download it for your operating system. The last thing we're going to need is going to be CMU. So go to cmu.info. Now download CMU Experimental. Now open the VMware installer and press next. I accept the terms in the license agreement and next again. Now if you get this screen, check install Windows hypervisor platform automatically. It's okay if you don't get this screen by the way. Press next again. And I recommend unchecking the experience improvement program. And install. After that's finally done, you can go ahead and press finish. Now open VMware and press continue and finish. Now click create a new virtual machine. Click browse and select the Debian ISO you've downloaded. I'm going to name my virtual machine Lego Dimensions Toypad. This virtual machine will emulate the LEGO Dimensions toy pad for us. Press next and finish. Now wait until the VM is booted up. Press enter on graphical install. Press continue on whatever language you want. I'm just going to press continue. You don't have to fill out all your information. Make sure your host name is set to Debian and click continue. Do not change your host name. The domain name doesn't matter. Just press continue. M leave the root password empty and press continue again. Now choose a username. And press continue. Press continue again and create a super secure password for your new user. Select your time zone. And press continue. Leave this default and press continue again. Click continue and set this to yes.
Now, select no and press continue. Press continue again. And wait for it to configure APT. I recommend leaving this at no and pressing continue. Press continue again. Set the grub bootloader to yes and then continue. Select dev SDA. When it's rebooted, log in with your super secure password you created. Click Activities on the top left. Now search for Terminal. Copy this command and paste it into the terminal. The link to the command is going to be in the description. Now wait until it's done. When it's done, run the command sudo shutdown r now. And now wait for it to reboot. When it's rebooted, open terminal again. Now copy the second command. Enter your password. And finally, make sure you're in the right folder. Make sure it says LD Toypad Emulator. If it does not, like this, enter CD, LD and press Tab, so it auto-completes. Now when it does say this, open the virtual here client. And double click Lego Reader. If Lego Reader is not there for you, make sure you did not change your hostname. Now enter the command node index.js. Now you can minimize the VM but keep it running. Now we can extract CMU. Now open CMU, leave the MLC01 path blank and click browse next to game path. Make a new folder called games inside of your CMU folder. And click download community graphic packs. Now press next, configure input and under emulated controller select Wii U gamepad. Press the plus icon next to controller and set the API to X input and the controller to controller 1. Now you can close this and close again. In the settings, go to graphics and I like to enable async shader compile. If your game crashes when you have this on, try to disable it. In the overlay, I like to have my FPS on the top left 
and the notifications on the top right. This is not necessary however. Now you need to put your LEGO Dimensions game inside of your games folder. If you have trouble finding LEGO Dimensions, you can see info in my Discord server. Right click the game and click Edit Graphic Packs. Enable the resolution graphics and the 60fps mod. Now in your browser, type Debian slash and press enter. On this website you're going to control your LEGO Dimensions portal. To make a new character, select a new character and click create. Now drag it to the portal. That's about it.
Metalbeard getting dragged into a strange vortex. I think it was some kind of dimensional rift. Where is it? It disappeared after it took him. So you didn't cause all that? Might I suggest that we set out on a quest to find this, uh, uh, rift, you say? A quest? Let me go pack some rainbow-colored Lego bricks. And I'll get my wrench. We shall be the Fellowship of the... Thank you guys for watching and if you need any more help be sure to join my discord which is linked in the description. Have fun playing!